Hi guys, I am going to be doing my third instalment of the Orlando haul today, which will just be stuff like the Victoria's Secrets, Bath and Body Works, Universal and the premium outlets and Walmart and stuff. Obviously I've done all my Disney World stuff, so this will just be the rest of it that I've got from the shopping malls and that. So first of all, I'm going to start off with Sephora. We don't have a Sephora over here in the UK, so it's when well, you know you go to the US and you're from the UK it's kind of like going in a sweet shop for a kid so first of all out of there I got the Makeup Forever foundation it just looks like this this foundation cost around 40 to 43 dollars but it is so worth it it is amazing and I don't think we can actually get Makeup Forever over here so yeah the next thing I got was the Kat Von D eye like tattoo liner, which I think was twenty two dollars. I think the lady in the shop said the only difference between both of the eyeliners, the original and this, was that this the packaging was actually different. But when I see limited edition, I can't help but want to buy it, so that's why I got it. I haven't actually used it yet. The next thing I got was my first. Too Faced purchase because I'm really getting into Too Faced and I think the stuff is so quirky and cute. Um, it's the Love Palette, which just looks like this. And the packaging is so super, super, super cute. I can just get it out of you. It looks just like this. If you can see. And inside, hopefully I don't blind you. But it just looks like that and the colours are so beautiful. You can see it has like greens, blacks, browns, neutral colours, smoky colours. There's so much different colours there. And I think it'll be great on a night out or in the day as well. I don't remember how much this actually cost. I think it was around $30, $40 though. And the other Too Faced products I decided to get, because this is something that everyone seems to be raving about, it's the Better Than Sex Mascara. And everyone says this is really good. I have not yet used this because I did buy another mascara, which I will show you in a minute. And that was everything out of the Sephora. The second place I went was Bath and Body Works. First thing I got from there was the um was a candle even. I was gonna go and get the mini size candles, but I decided against it because obviously the weight and all that was one of the reasons I was gonna get the minis, but all the minis absolutely smelled horrible. They smell like coffee. So I don't know if it was all the the bad scents left because obviously it's a sale, so getting rid of stock and bringing new stock in. And I just thought with all the samples, all the little mini samples, I could have just got a big size for it anyway. And then I did see this pink apple punch so I decided to get this instead and this smells just like apples just like summer just like a fruity coolness coolness just a really nice scent and this was supposed to be £22.50 I mean $22.50 and it was $12 which is such a bargain that's cheaper than a Yankee candle and then the other things I got from there was the um, antibacterial gels and I ended up getting six I know it was five for six dollars but I got one for like a dollar anyway because it was on sale I think it was this one the winter candy apple because obviously it was the Christmas scent and that just smells like apples then I got the lemon cello which just smells like lemon sherbet lemon all that goodness the next one I got was probably my favorite one which I've actually probably used the most out of all of them and that's the warm vanilla and that just smells like cookies and everything sweet. The next one is Mad About You. Um, I'm not actually sure what this smells like. Let's have a little and put a bit too much on. Ooh. It just smells like a fragranced perfumey kind of scent. I'm not too keen on that, but I do like the glitter that you can see in there. Then I got a stress relief one for when I get stressed, and a pretty in pink one. 
and that was everything from Bath and Body Works and then I went to the Cosmetic and Co store which sells MAC for really cheap and I think it had other stuff like Chanel there I think I was re my aim was to get MAC stuff because obviously MAC in our country is really expensive I mean I don't know about America but I know that shop sells discounted MAC because half the stuff is limited edition stuff that's not in stores anymore so they send them there um, the first thing that I got was the Maleficent palette, the quad eyeshadow quad, which just looks like this. The colours are really cool too, and I will actually wear them. I did not just buy the quad because it's Maleficent Disney, you know, or maybe I did. And the colours just look like that. Really nice again to wear. That was 20 not 20 um 31 dollars then i got the pearl matte face powder which has this little flower on it i really don't want to use this because it's way too pretty but this was 21 dollars and then i got the simpson lip gloss in the red blazer and this is just like in a flamingoy pinky kind of colour as you can see and I really do love the designs for the limited edition MAC stuff that's one of my reasons I get it because the packaging is so cute this was $11 $11 that's like eight seven pound in our country which is so cheap compared to how much we pay we pay like £15.50 six something really mad and then I also got notice me which is in its um the normal packaging and it just looks like this it's like a lilac-y kind of color and it has blue tones to it it's it's more of a shimmer on your lips that the color's not that bright i've already tried it and that was everything from the cosmetic company and co so if you have one near you please go to it because it is so cheap and then i went to let me have a look universal i didn't get much from universal because i'm not keen on half the stuff there i i'm not a bit i love universal studio it was absolutely amazing but i didn't want to it was a lot of tap basically but one of the things i did see and i did have to get was this betty boo necklace that says my name on it because my name is really hard to get in the uk i know there's more people that actually are called in the us than there isn't but I had to get this and this was 9 95 and it has Betty Boo on it. As you can see. And the other thing I got was from Ollie Landers, of course. Which can only mean Harry Potter. The Harry, the, the Harry Potter world. Which I am a big Harry Potter fan, so. And I did decide to get my own one because I know you can't get them over. You can only get like Harry's wand or Hermione's or the characters in the Harry Potter studios over here. But I decided to get this red one and it just looks like this. It's so pretty. It's the interactive one, the one where you can take it around the park and use it with the map. But on the day that we went to Universal Studios, it was pouring down a rain and there was a, a queue to use to use these there. There was like, what, seven people in line and I just thought it wasn't worth it because we was only spending the one day in Harry Potter Studios. I mean, in Universal.